All right, let me have you look right at my finger and follow it with your eyes. My parent, my dad, is the one who passed the gene to me. Good. Put your hand straight out in front of you. His mom was the one who passed it to him. And she uh, passed away in her early 60s. And he passed away in his late 60s. What I wanted to do was just kind of do it better than my dad was, because he basically lived his life without really admitting he had it, which is fine. You know, everybody's got their own way to deal with it. Uh, so uh, he had his way, I had my different paths. So I, I wanted to come in here, see the doctor a lot, do my meds, you know, do the physical therapy, and uh, you know, all the rest. Excellent. Good, you can stop there. We've been taking care of patients with Huntington's disease for years, um, but we have just this year been able to develop a multidisciplinary clinic for Huntington's patients. Huntington's disease is a very complex neurologic disease. It affects many areas of functioning, including movement, uh, thinking, cognition. It causes psychiatric symptoms, causes weight loss and there's a lot of social issues. There's a lot of just navigating the system. It's really important to have this multidisciplinary clinic so that we can provide the best care um, in the most efficient way for our patients. I'd say celebration was the biggest kind of response from the Huntington's community here. It's kind of euphoria about having a Huntington's disease center here. I have a son who's at risk, you know, and right now he's thinking about getting tested, but he's not sure. Good, do the same with the other side. Right now my worries are that we don't have enough attention to Huntington's disease. That's my goal, is to have more people aware of Huntington's and what you can do to, you know, to make yourself better feel better about it. I knew going into our marriage that um, there was always that risk because his dad had it, um, but it wouldn't change a thing. I'm sad that he has the disease, um, but I really try as his caretaker to, to let him live as normal as a life as possible. There is no cure right now, but we are at a very exciting time right now. Research is getting um, very close. We know exactly what the gene is, and there's this one gene that causes it in everybody. Just at this point, seeing if it's safe. So it's still very early, but it's on the horizon. Um, very exciting, closest we've ever been. So close, they said. Oh, so excited about that. Oh, yes, I can't wait.